Welcome, Wolf of Wolf X, to Two Point Hospital on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, some of you guys and girls may know that recently the government asked 250,000 people to volunteer at the NHS in England to help with this coronavirus that is going on. Well, unfortunately, because of my asthma, I'm not able to volunteer because if I catch this disease, then there is a big chance I can die. So, for that very reason, to do my part, I thought I would play Two Point Hospital today, and instead of healing some real life humans, we can heal some in game humans instead because some of the characters in this game go through absolute hell. Their heads turn into light bulbs, their bodies turn into practically Rubik's cubes. Some people get pans stuck on their head, and that seems like an absolute nightmare. So I feel like the people of Two Point County also need someone to save them. So I'm sorry that I can't help saving you guys and girls, but I can help saving the video game characters, so I'm going to do that instead. So yeah, let's give this a play. Now, um, I've already played the absolute hell out of this. I think I've, I've nearly three-starred every single hospital in the original game, and uh, I'm going to be starting with the two DLC packs soon. So for that reason, I do know quite a few things about this game now, so I can hopefully give you guys and girls a few tips. But yeah, I'm playing on my Beowulf the Wolf account, and we're going to start a brand new game. Not sure how many videos I'm going to make, probably like... Three or six, we'll have to see. But let's uh, let's start a new game. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. <laughs> this is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Select it and press X to get started. Lovely. Right. So this um, this hospital right here, this is pretty much the tutorial hospital. Now, this is a very misleading hospital, because when you start playing through the tutorial, it gives you the impression that the game is going to be really really peaceful really really simple not hectic at all but by the time you get to probably i'd say about the third hospital the game goes ape shit. it is nothing but stressful there's so many things you have to pay attention to it makes you go insane <laughs> but yeah um i'm pretty sure that the um the new studio that's been put together two point studio that made this game two point hospital um, i'm pretty sure that a lot of the developers there actually worked at bullfrog back in the 90s the same people that made Theme Hospital and Theme Park. So that's probably why this game is so amazing. Because this is pretty much like a remake of Theme Hospital on the PC and the PlayStation 1. So if you liked Theme Hospital, you're going to like this. You'll probably like this even more because there is a greater variety of illnesses and stuff. But yeah, it does start off, like I said, really relaxing and simple. And you're probably going to like, you know, really build your hospital and make it like really nice and intricate and beautiful. But once you get to the later hospitals, you're just building so quickly, trying to keep up with the flipping amount of patients that arrive. It is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> oh, God. Hogspot. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Before we do that, I'm going to change the name of my foundation because we are not the Two Point Foundation. We are the Beowulf Foundation. Lovely. Well, I suppose I should put Beowulf the Wolf just because it's YouTube. <laughs> I did want to make my name U uh, Beowulf on YouTube, but back when I created my account, you, everybody could only have one unique name, so Beowulf was taken. But for some reason nowadays, everybody can... Uh, use the same bloody name. So I could change my channel name to Beowulf, to be honest, but there's not much point. Most people know me as Beowulf the Wolf now, anyway. 
Although if you search for me on YouTube, I still don't come up for whatever reason. It pisses me off. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. So um, yeah, this will be a very chit-chat heavy video. But I'll tell you guys and girls just... I'll, I'll tell you the basics because uh, the little helper in the corner, he's terrible. He sucks. <laughs> Lovely. I guess I'm going to have to do what they tell me to do though because this is a tutorial. I'll probably play through this hospital, maybe the second hospital, possibly the third hospital, and then I'll think I'll leave it there and then we'll move on to another game. But we'll have to see. It depends how much you guys and girls enjoy it. Two Point Hospital. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Yes, I am. First things first, you'll probably want to have a look around. Yeah, lovely. Right, yeah, there we go. Lovely, yeah. Now we're zooming in and out. Lovely. The uh, one thing I will say, though, there's not many real-time strategy games on PlayStations in general, on any consoles in general. But, uh... This game controls beautifully with a controller. Normally these games are best with a mouse and keyboard, but this controls beautifully with a controller. Very, very good. So that's one plus for this game. There's a million pluses for this game. The first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. Obviously, as you go through this game, you're gonna unlock a lot of things. Like you go on items, I mean, I don't know, it's not letting me show you all the things yet, but there's two types of currency. You've got your normal currency, which is just, I guess, it looks like dollars. I don't know. But then you've also got this other currency, which I think is called kudosh, which you get by doing challenges and stuff. And uh, you can use that to buy like extra items that unlock things like a cool Christmas tree or unlock different kinds of plants to use in your hospital or different kinds of pictures and stuff like that. So there's two types of currency in this game. And as you get through the game, and as you progress through the hospitals, you're going to unlock new um, new buildings and stuff, like new treatments and stuff, just automatically. And then there's going to be other treatments that you unlock by, um, by uh, researching. But I don't think we have to start researching until like the third or fourth hospital, so we should be alright for now. Great! We'll need an assistant to run reception. Let's hire one now. Lovely. Right, now as always, you've got to pay attention to you've got to pay attention to their credentials. You know, as you can see, you've got these little details right here. So this person, uh, this is nurses at the moment, but this nurse will have extra treatment skills, so she'll be very good in like the pharmacy and stuff like that. And then you've got other ones that are better at diagnosing, so they might be better at inside the um, like the ward and places like that where there's lots of diagnosis done. But we need an assistant. Obviously, the more skills that they've got and the higher their star rating is, the more you're going to have to pay them per year, so, uh, well, per month, so. I recommend for now, we're just going to get one like this. A pretty nice one. Extra happiness and plus 50 customer service skill. Definitely what you want at the desk. You want them to come in and you want them to have a nice receptionist. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, I don't know if it's going to let me do it during the tutorial, Great, before we officially open, we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor, working as a general practice. Yeah, I gotta read none of this, I already know what I'm doing. But um, I think you can rename people. So what should, let's have a look. Uh, where is it? How do I do it? I'm pretty sure you can rename them. I don't know if I can do it during... Um... Ah, here we go. Right, her Clint Lips. Right, what should we name our receptionist? Let's name the receptionist Chunky. It's actually handy to rename your um, to rename your. Uh, I, I never do it when I'm playing the game on my own, but I'll do it for YouTube because it's funny. But it's actually handy to uh, name your staff because then when it comes up with messages at the bottom like certain staff members ain't happy or sometimes they get stuck in locations if you've built your hospital a bit weird, then you'll sort of know which staff member it's talking about. So there we go, Chunky Lappy. Lovely. You can also buy them costumes and stuff and change how they look, look. But you need kudosh to do this. Lovely. Right, none of this. I'm, I'm getting a bit off, I'm getting a bit distracted. Right, so we're going to build a GP office now. You, you're going to want to build an absolute shit ton of GP offices. So uh, that's something you want to pay attention to. And the bigger the rooms, the more higher level it is, the more props you put in the rooms, the higher the level, the more happier the uh, patients will be, the more happy the... Um, thingy jigs will be, the um, staff and stuff, so yeah. But there's like a level bar at the top, as you can see. So as we place things, 
the uh, level of the room is going to go up and it's going to increase like the staff's happiness and that. Uh, as always, I'm going to stick a flower in here. I don't really use flowers later on in the game just because they require watering. And my janitors never seem to want to water them, so I just stopped building them. I'm going to put a fire extinguisher in here. We won't really need it for this room, but just in case any other fires appear nearby. Uh, we don't really need a bin. Let's give him a window because we're a nice guy. We are a nice guy. I mean, I'm a nice guy. You might be a nice girl. Let's get one right over here so people could stare through the window and make sure he's doing his job. Because you know some of these GP doctors sit in their flipping rooms and uh, drink coffee and don't do their job. Right, I'm missing on so many props, it's really annoying. Because <laughs> I've unlocked a lot of all this stuff, like hand sanitizer I use a lot in my rooms. Lovely. Now we're going to have to hire, yes I know, now we have to hire a doctor. But this video is just going to be like getting to the basics of things and stuff like that. Like this one right here will be good because look, plus 15% diagnosis skill in GP's office. So you definitely want to keep like doctors like this. You've also got their uh, references as well. Hangry. Flipping. Now that, I think we might need to name this one David. <laughs> Grumpy. Yep. Likes to argue. Knows where the party's at. Fucking hell. This, this guy sounds wild, doesn't he? He likes to party, but he sounds like a right arsehole. Yeah, we definitely can't name him David. I'm not an arsehole. I'm a good guy. What should we name him then? I want to name him after my subscribers. I don't get how our hospital opens up after we do this kind of stuff because we literally just built a GP's office. We've got no facilities. We've got no treatments. <laughs> We've got no other diagnostics. Insane. The is open. Right, what do we name him? Dr. Freddy Higginbotham. Flipping out. Uh... Doctor, I mean, as Tom Wolf likes me to play horror games, that makes him a bit of an arsehole. So let's uh, <laughs> let's name this guy Doctor Tom Wolf. Lovely. There we go. That's what you get, Tom Wolf, for making me play uh, all these horror games. You're now a hangry, grumpy, argumentative doctor. <laughs> Brilliant. Lovely. We've got our admin right there. All right, now we're gonna to have to stick some items in here. So we're gonna build a couple of benches. I'm gonna build them over here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a drink machine right over here. And we're gonna stick a bin up here. Oops, hang on a minute. Lovely. Right, now we're gonna to have to start building some treatments, but I think we might need to wait for our first uh, patient to actually be diagnosed. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna to have to build the pharmacy first, which we'll probably build over here. I'm gonna build a second GP's office, actually, before it tells me, because I just want her anyway. We've diagnosed our first patient, the GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message in the list, yeah. This tells you what kind of treatments they need, or if you're gonna to need to do research. Oh, you could wait a minute, I'm busy. You can build other than, you don't have to build square rooms, I just build square rooms because I'm not very creative, you know? <laughs> Depending on the size of the hospital, I do sometimes start building, uh, Actually, we don't need to do this. What you want to do is you want to come over here, this is quicker, and then just press copy. There you go, lovely. Obviously, this doesn't work sometimes, depending on the shape of your hospital. Invalid items. Oh, that's probably the window. Lovely, there we go. Now let's hire another doctor. Man, I'm getting a lot of really decent doctors, to be honest. Problem is, though, obviously, the better the doctor, the more you have to pay them per year, so... Uh, Let's get the patient to wait, so you have to be careful. Right, you can wait a minute, You've got, I've got plenty of time, I can build quick enough. Right, let's quickly build some benches over here, but make sure you have enough benches and stuff. I'm just trying to make sure things line up. But this hospital, like I said, is very, very easy. Like, the game is flipping insane later on, because it gets so hectic, what I normally do is I... Uh, I start the level and then I pause it instantly and start building things. Just so I've got like a nice set up hospital before patients arrive. Because they always, they arrive instantly and start sulking. It's annoying. Right, let's get a couple of, uh, couple of leaflet racks just so they can read a leaflet if they're bored. Lovely, right. I'm trying to space this out nicely because I'm gonna need to build a ward eventually and I wanna build a nice big ward. Right, let's get this done quickly. Let's 
to get a filing cabinet in this bitch. Lovely. We're definitely going to have to build a fire extinguisher because the pharmacy machine can actually catch fire, so. Lovely. Right, now we need to get a decent nurse. I didn't name my other doctor, did I? We're going to get this one just because she's actually got some sort of skill. Right, this one right here can be, as we've already got Tom Wolf, we might as well get uh, Angela King in here. Get Angela King in here. I, should, I definitely need to get Sora Wolf Kibber in here because I know she plays. Um, I know she plays Two Point Hospital, so I'll have to get her in here as well. And Keely, new one. Nurse Angela King. There we go. Beautiful. Lovely. Right. Where's the other dot? Right, what were you doing? Oh my God! He's got a top knot. Oh, this wanker needs to be fired. You're lucky you've got some decent skills. Dr. Cat. Is that a woman? No, it is a man with a top knot. Oh, fucking hell. This guy needs to... This We need to get rid of this one. I, I don't know. Uh, what, what? Who should this be? I feel like whoever I give the name to now is going to feel solid. Right, it's got to be... Yeah, we're going to have to make this... Um, we're going to have to make this Mr. Smith. <laughs> Dr. Mr. Smith. That's going to be a weird name. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Mr. Smith. <laughs> Just because you use caps lock every time you comment. There you go, lovely. Beautiful. But yeah, what we're gonna do is we've gotta to get to three stars, and then once we get to three stars, we can leave this hospital and carry on. Once you get one star, you can leave your hospital and move on to the next hospital, but I don't do that. I always, um, I always make sure I freestar the hospital before I move on to the next one. Plus, I plan on platinum in the game, so I sort of have to. You have to freestar every hospital in the game, and it is pretty difficult in the later levels. <laughs> well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money, and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or a nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Shit, they are. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Stop announcements. We just cured our very first patient. <laughs> oh, the woman on the intercom is very annoying. Very annoying. I might as well build some more plants, I guess. This is the hospital where you can really focus on how beautiful it looks because it's so easy, it doesn't really matter. Lovely, right. We've got to get a janitor. Now, uh, make sure you always get a janitor that can capture ghosts. Especially if you're not very confident about your ability to build a good hospital. Because then patients die, turn into ghosts, and then they haunt the hospital sometimes. And they make all of your other, um, all of your other staff members and all your other patients run around. And it just causes havoc. I'm going to get a good one that can do all the things. Just because we only need one janitor for this hospital because it's so tiny. That's why I don't mind getting an expensive one. Can I build any other rooms yet? No. It's probably... It's important to keep your staff and... Oh, here we go. They're going to tell me to build a staff room now, aren't they? No. Right, well, whilst we've got time, though, I'm going to build a couple of plants. Uh, I'm not going to build them. I'm going to plant them, I, I should say. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Now I can build it. But yeah, you can see like the area of effect. Obviously, you want to have a nice, beautiful hospital, obviously. Because um, it increases everybody's happiness. And it just makes your hospital look nicer. It's a lot easier later on in the game when you've unlocked more cool things. Because you don't just want to put stupid green like plants everywhere, do you? Because that's just boring. But as you go through and you get kudosh and stuff, then you can start actually getting some cooler things unlocked. Um, staff room. Where do I want to build this? I want to keep my treatments over here and I want to keep my diagnostics like over here. So let's build it, let's build it up in this corner. Actually no no, I'm going to make all of this area the walled, just because the walls are used a lot. So we'll, get, we'll just build it over here, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be too big because not many staff members are going to be coming in here. Get two sofas in this bitch, beautiful. Do I want to get an armchair? Yeah, we might as well get an armchair. Because if, if, if anyone's got the virus in this hospital, they need to sit on their own two metres apart. So, got to make sure we do that. I'm going to get them a drink machine because I'm a nice guy. I'm not going to get them a snack machine, though. <laughs> Just because uh, there ain't no room. I don't want to put a bin in it. I want to put a bin over 
Have I got enough room for a snack machine? I don't think I'm good enough because of the chair. Yeah. Uh, never mind. They don't need it. If they want, if they want a snack, if they want some cheesy gubbins or whatever they're called, they can just go outside. Oh crap. Uh, I accidentally put the bin in the way of that chair. Lovely. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Of course our hospital's level has increased. It gets really annoying later on in the game when you have to get your hospital's level to like level 20 in one of the uh, hospitals. It's really hard. You have to flip and build practically every building that you have available, every room available at that, at that current time, and absolutely decorate the hell out of it. It's insane. Toilets are unlocked. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Let's get some toilets built. Toilets are the most frustrating of all the rooms. I don't really need to make it this big, but we might as well. We'll be alright. The more toilets there are, the better, because then they don't use one toilet and constantly clog it up. Because you can't always rely on your janitors to do their job. Sometimes they just don't do their damn job. Let's get, what, two sinks and two hand dryers seems to be the uh, a common thing in toilets, doesn't it? I don't really use public toilets, I don't trust them. <laughs> they stink as well. Let's get a flower in here, just to get rid of some of the shit smell, you know? There we go, beautiful. You need to get back to work, Chunky Lappy. What are you playing at? Come on. Oh, we didn't, we didn't name the janitor. Well, we might as well name this. I think this might be a woman. Oh, we've got further diagnostics, general diagnostics. Oh my god, this one's already named Angela. <laughs> Poor Angela. <laughs> right, um... I was going to name it me, just because I, I clean schools, so it seems appropriate, but I'm not a woman, so uh, I don't know any, I, I, unfortunately it's going to have to be, it's going to have to be Sora. I'm sorry Sora, I apologise. <laughs> I'm sorry Sora, it's going to be you. I'm just going to name you Sora, there we go, lovely. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you the janitor, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear, oh that's it, I've lost a fan now, I've lost a fan. This uh, hospital is pretty uneven looking. Like this side right here is not as uh, big as this side over here. Very irritating. We do need a bit of room though over here because I think we need to build a deluxe center eventually. Which is what you use to fix people with lightheadedness. Right, let's get another general diagnostics. Where do we want to build this then? I guess we can build it. Actually, we could build it right here thanks to how big we made the toilets. Lovely, it doesn't even need to be this big, to be honest. But the bigger the room, the more happy the staff. Stick a filing cabinet in here. Beautiful. Get a fire extinguisher, because the uh, easy scan can set on fire, and it really does like to set on fire. It's not too bad at this point of the game. It's later on when you've got loads of machines and natural disasters start happening. That's when everything gets worse. Beautiful. We're going to have to hire another nurse now. Let's have a look. Oh, they're all the same. Who's the cheapest then? <laughs> Class clan. Beautiful. I haven't got... I don't know... That's the thing. I don't know the genders of all of my fans. So... Right. I'll name this character next time. But I'm going to have to end it for now. But yeah. Thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfettes. Hopefully you enjoyed this first episode of Two Point Hospital. At the moment, it's just a tutorial. Once we get to the next hospital, it'll be a bit more uh, free where we can do our own thing. But there's always tutorials in this game because every new hospital you go to, there's some new kind of bloody tactic that's going to be thrown at you. So there's always a little tutorial, but the later hospitals, you just do your own thing and uh, that's when everything goes tits up. <laughs> oh dear, lovely. But yeah, thanks for watching Wolf of Us. Hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway. Like, share and join the pack today.